Welcome back to Day in Van. In our previous episodes, we talked about uh, insurance, about our premiums. We talked about preventative measures that we can take. And today, we're going to talk about how to become an insurance broker. episodes we learn about insurance brokers, the actual insurance. So today uh, we're lucky enough to invite Derek and he is from Park Georgia Insurance. You're one of the directors. Uh, we have a lot more questions for you. Are you ready? Oh, bring it on. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, yeah. so what are some of the requirements to get into the field? Yeah, so to become an insurance broker, you actually, um, the requirements aren't that stringent. Um, most brokers don't require specific post-secondary education, so most are quite flexible. We, um, our broker bridge, for example, we accept people with varying backgrounds of post-secondary education. Um, but however, to be a licensed broker, you need to be licensed with the Insurance Council of BC, oh. and so you need to have a level one general insurance license to be able to advise customers on their insurance policies. Right, yeah. and are there any like ongoing education once you know, they become an actual broker? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so like most uh, professions, to uphold your license, you need to have continuing education credits or CE credits. Um, and that varies based on what type of license you have. So um, throughout the year, you need to kind of beef up your knowledge, if you will, of uh, what's going on in the industry, new coverages, new risks, and you have to take a certain amount of those credits to renew your license. Yeah. yeah. I know you've been in this field for quite some time, and what do you love about it? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a great industry. It doesn't get a lot of... Um, Recognition. Exactly. It's not a lot of spotlight. Um, it's not the sexiest industry, uh, but I assure you it's a, it's a great industry. Um, it's a challenging one. It's very stable. Um, during COVID, for example, all of our offices were open as essential services. Mm. Job security uh, is good in this industry. Um, and there's also good career progression. Um, there's a lot of job um, uh, autonomy as well. So if you are good at what you do, um, you will most likely be recognized for it and uh, you'll be able to progress uh, in the, your career uh, well. Are there any soft skills required to do this job? Yeah, so again, it really depends on the culture that the brokerage wants to foster amongst mm -hmm. this team. Um, what I can say about our brokerage is that uh, we really favor those that are willing to learn, they have good attitude, they work well with people, um, and have basic customer service skills. Um, that could be experience from being a, a barista or working in healthcare, but being able to speak to someone and empathize with them and their situation um, and not be too angry when you're having a bad day um, and to be understanding of their situation, that's very important for us. So, okay. and, yeah. and I guess like while doing this job, that can also be trained, right? Absolutely, you yeah. Day by day. Absolutely. So that's why I think mentorship on the job is also very important. To be able to shadow someone that has gone through years of experience um, and really knows how to cater to clients um, is very important. Is it okay to talk about the competition structure? Um, yes. <laughs> uh, so we can't go into specific numbers, of, of course. course. Um, but generally speaking, in the brokerage industry, um, people are paid by salary um, with potential bonus at year end. Um, and depending on the role, they can also have a commission portion of their pay. Right. So because insurance brokerage is a sales-based business, um, if people can contribute to sales, some brokerages will uh, reward those staff to bring in those sales. Yeah. And are they all full-time or do you have any part-timers? Um, yeah, we have full-time and part-time, oh, right? Okay. So uh, volume can ebb and flow throughout the year. So when things get really busy and the current team is not sufficient, um, part-time staff is a, is a good, good choice. And there's a lot of um, you know, uh, people going through their university degrees or just fresh graduates that are looking to get experience. Um, those are good candidates for part-time roles. So yeah. what are some of the, uh, let's say, growth or even um, career path for this job? One thing I want to mention is apart from being a uh, full-time employee, there's an also an uh, independent producer route. This is where you're not necessarily an employee of a brokerage, but you're an independent um, uh, producer that brings in business and you get 100% 100 uh, 100 of your pay is through commission. right? So that's a route. But you're not an employee of a company, so you don't get employee benefits mm -hmm. and things like that. So that's something I wanted to mention. Um, but when you're in a brokerage, 
Uh, the typical career path involves um, first going in as an entry level. You're helping with admin and processing and um, and supporting the teams. I think the once front line. exactly mm. supporting the frontline staff. Um, after a few years of experience and after maybe you get licensed and are able to speak to customers, you then transition to front office and you're what we call a customer service representative or CSR. Um, you start taking on your own book of business and being responsible for your own clients. Um, and after you've demonstrated uh, uh, good success in that role, then there's opportunities in branch management, um, either as assistant branch manager or a team lead. Um, so that's the typical career path. Um, aside from that as well, and what I'm also, what I'm more involved in is going in the corporate route, okay. is helping in back office, um, corporate uh, with operations, marketing, um, strategy, um, even can be the IT. There's so much going on. Mm -hmm. Great. Yeah, it's an interesting field. It is. Um, so what are some of the perks that you guys get? Do you get a special employee discount when you buy your own housing insurance? <laughs> um, a bit, a bit. Oh, you, um, you, you can be that friend in your friends group that everyone goes to for insurance help. <laughs> right, everyone right, needs right. an insurance friend, right? <laughs> yes. um, but otherwise, yeah, it's just it's just a great field to be in. It's it's growing quite a bit, um, and especially in Lower Mainland, there's a lot of uh, thematic risks that people are unaware of. That you know, there is much more education to be had, and that's where brokers come in. Yeah. So, Derek, do you have any tips or suggestions you can provide for those who wants to get into the field? Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, a tip that I would I would give someone who's looking to get uh, to be an insurance broker is look to get licensed first. Mm -hmm. I think that really puts you a step up above other candidates when applying for a job. Um, there's a lot of great institutions and programs out here in Vancouver um, that walk you through uh, getting licensed. So that's one thing. Um, and also if you're looking to you know, have your work and have part-time jobs or full-time jobs before you enter is do something that's customer centric, right? Okay. Develop your customer service skills uh, work with those difficult customers. Like, you know, you have to live through those experiences to know how to handle those experiences sure. and get mentored by those with customer experience backgrounds as well. So mm -hmm. that's what I would say. Any tips for those who are already in the field? How yeah. to be, you know, how to ace in this field? Yeah, so I think for those that are currently in the field, um, it's very important to lean into the uh, relationship aspect of the industry. I think the insurance industry is very old and has always been based on face to face interactions, whether that be through customers. Uh, a broker and customer or between broker and insurance company and insurance company underwriters. Um, so really get out there, meet uh, people that you're working with, meet your company partners and insurance company partners. And one thing to note as well is that the insurance industry is very small. Um, so you never know who you're going to be interviewing with next. People talk. Um, exactly. Yeah. And, and never burn bridges as well. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, having t um, heard so much from you, very, very important. But um, is it okay if we visit your office and talk to one of the employees to see how he or she really feels about the job? Absolutely. I'm sure they'd be excited <laughs> to talk to you. So, uh, awesome. yeah, let's let's head on over. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Here, I would like to introduce you to one of our up and coming um, staff, Ed. Hi,你好,你好。哎,所以,哎,我听说你来这边没有很久。对啊,就来大概十个月。然后你在香港也是做。对,七年了。保险产业。对对对。你是热爱保险。对,很爱很爱。真的。哎,那在香港的保险产业
从头可以去再买的时候，可能我们就是有问题。哦，可能这又有正确答案吗？比方说没钱，这样是一个答案吗？哦、uh, <笑>，有人回答，<笑>就那两年我没钱，所以没买。但是其实保险公司他 underwriter 也会觉得，为什么你不买？是不是有事情啊、呃？事情发生你才买？哦、oh, ，是有东西在隐藏这样子。对对对,对但是香港就很少问这个问题。哦、oh, ，那如果你在香港也做一样的产业，来这里也做一样的，嗯、呃，你觉得两边有什么不太一样的地方吗？文化上或者工作文化？呃，这里就是。啊、呃，香港就是一个很急、很急的地方， oh. 就是，呃，速度很快， oh. 是不是？所有都是今天给你，然后你明天就给，可以给他。Oh. 但是在这里就好像比较慢慢来，慢慢来啊。就是、你会不会很不习惯？觉得不会啊，搞什么太慢了，大家。不会啊，真的很喜欢这里。<笑>真的吗？这这听还很好啊，就是我很喜欢， oh. 呃，就是户外的运运动， oh. 就是很喜欢。这也是户外运动的天堂啊,啊,啊！对啊，对啊，所以在这里下班也可以去 skiing 啊，这是在香港我没有想到会发生的事情。哦、那你现在在 Park j o r g e Insurance 是做什么样的职业呢？嗯、怎么样职位？我刚开始的时候，我是一个 licensed insurance associate，、嗯、就是一般就是做 personal life 的保险，就是帮房屋啊、嗯、那些。然后现在我就大概接住那些 commercial 的保险、哦、开始，对对对，有比较难吗？还是只是不同领域？但是其实因为这是保险，你就是有很多很多不同的东西学。就是就算我在香港，你没有一个一样的 case， 所以就算在这里有不同的东西，其实也是一个，就是一个一样的，呃。模式是不是、嗯、一样的模式？对对对对,对。那现在如果你是一个移民来这边，然后也在亚洲生活过，嗯、然后也做过这个、嗯，你有没有什么建议可以给？比方说要从香港啊，或是要去其他亚洲地方，如果来这边，你要给他们什么建议吗？比方说，你会欢欢迎他们也来这个保险这个产业？欢迎啊，欢迎。但是就是我觉得就是要有。耐呃耐心，耐心，耐心，对对，因为是对老板吗？还是不是啊？<笑>就是建筑也是很是，就是要很长时间，就是慢慢累积那些经验啊、客人啊，你不愧就。头一天，我就或者就一年，你就学会所有东西，你就是很长的时间，嗯，慢慢去学。下班还要花很多时间做，比方说学习的事情吗？其实也有的，因为就是保险有很多 destination， 你可以去考试啊，嗯、然后就是有不同的 level agent。哦、嗯，对对对。哇，所以这也是很大一块，就是领域啊、哦，要了解的话，也是脚得先跨进来，才能够慢慢从里面慢慢学习的。Thank you, Ed. Thank you, Derek. And we hope you enjoy our insurance broker series. If you find the content helpful, please subscribe and、uh, like. Also, share this content with the friends or families. It's super helpful, right?、Um, feel free to leave any comments or questions below. We would like to get to them. And thank you again for watching. If you have any suggestions、uh, for the things you'd like to see us cover, please leave them in the comment. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. 非常感谢大家的收看。那么，如果你觉得这一次的内容对你有帮助的话呢，记得要点赞，然后要 follow 我们，然后把这个影片转寄给你需要的朋友们。那当然呢，如果你有什么经验啊或有趣的事情，欢迎你分享给我们，在下面给大家一起分享你的经验喽。那么，在这里要非常感谢我们所有的赞助商对我们的厚爱，也欢迎其他商家来联系我们，让我们一起制作出更多、更有趣、更好的视频吧。下次见，拜拜。